Hey guys and welcome to Minimalistic. When Apple announced the iPhone 7, a lot of people were shocked to find out the headphone jack was removed. While it was a known rumor in the preceding months, there was still some hope that Apple wouldn't make the move. And they did. I've owned the iPhone 7 for about one month as of now and I had the chance to experiment the lack of headphone jack. Is it as bad as people think? Well, I really don't think it's such a big deal. While there are some cons, I do not regret going for the iPhone 7 instead of any other device that still has an headphone jack. First of all, this was a really on Apple like change. They actually include the adapter to plug your previous headphones and they sell it at a really decent price in case you lose it or break it. If you remember when Apple ditched the 30 pin connector in favor of Lightning, they didn't include the adapter with the iPhone 5 to use older accessories and instead sold a pricey adapter. Seems like Apple is not forcing as much the switch to Lightning or Bluetooth headphones as they could have and they do allow people to continue using the 3.5mm standard. Then, the two main issues are that you have to carry the adapter and you can't charge the phone while the adapter is plugged in. About that adapter, people made so many claims about the fear of losing it, but I don't see what the issue is. I think that most people will let their headphones plugged in it, so if you weren't losing your headphones before, you shouldn't lose the adapter either now. Also, about carrying it, I don't see how that is much harder to carry than this. Honestly, it doesn't make a huge difference, and if you lose it, well, it's only 9 bucks. Sure, it can look a bit ugly as the adapter is white while my phone and headphones are black, but it's only a matter of time until third-party adapters become widely available and I'm sure they'll come in various styles and colors. Also, most cars nowadays support audio over Bluetooth or USB, so the aux card issue won't be that big of a problem as time goes by. Also, using those is better as they support media control, so you don't have to look at your phone to change your music or the volume. Then, the issue about not being able to charge your phone while listening to music is not that much of a problem. You can get up to 40 hours of audio playback on a single charge, even using wireless options, so if you charge your phone every night, you should be okay to not have to charge it during the day. There's one case where it could be an issue, if you're gaming or watching movies using headphones, then your battery might drain faster and charging it at the same time would be great. There is actually an adapter for this made by Belkin, and if you fall in that specific category, well, you could still buy it. It does cost about $40 though, but you might see other brands making similar adapters for much cheaper soon. Apple also included Lightning EarPods, and the adapter is not needed for those. They are also sold separately for the same price than the older ones, although they probably cost more to make. I'm pretty sure most people who don't care much about high-end audio will use these and they will do the job fine. So in conclusion, I think that people are making this a bigger problem than it really is. The major con is that an adapter is needed, but apart from that, things haven't changed much. In fact, I think there are some benefits that the headphone jack removal does bring. I'm pretty sure it helps making the phone waterproof. While it could have been done without removing the jack, it probably was easier for Apple to do so. Also, breaking your headphone jack is not an issue anymore. I know a lot of people whose iPhone jack broke over the years, and getting it fixed would have costed way more than the $9 adapter it now uses. Lastly, it will force audio companies to come out with new portable headphone jacks and preamps. This will create a greater variety of products in the basically non-existent market and it will please high-end audio enthusiasts. However, I would have liked to see the switch to USB Type-C as the main connector on the iPhone. While it's something Apple will probably never do, it would have helped to have a greater variety of accessories and would have followed the trend that was installed in the 12-inch MacBooks. Lastly, if they do remove the headphone jack from the MacBooks, no, that's bad in my opinion. I think a lot of MacBook users do use the headphone jack and that is a needed port to have a complete computer for work or school. So this is pretty much it, hope you guys enjoyed, let me know in the comments what you think about this move by Apple. Are you okay with it or is it the worst idea ever? We'll talk about it. Thank you for watching, please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, if you didn't please leave me a comment about what I should improve in the future. Don't forget to subscribe to Minimalistic for more tech related content, see you in the next video!